Hello everyone, today we're going to be adding sounds to our Unity game. Here I have a main menu and I want to add a very simple sound. I want to put a clicking sound on my button because right now when I play the game, there's no sound. You can't hear anything. We want to make our game look polished. Even a sound as simple as a click helps. So before we do anything in Unity, we need to find a sound. There are a lot of places to find sounds, but there's actually one place that you might have used before if you're familiar with websites. Pixabay is a great place to find royalty-free stock photos and also sound effects, as it turns out. So I'm going to search for a click sound, and we got a lot of sounds here. We've got mouse clicks. We've also got more mouse clicks. I only want one click, though. Let's see if I can find, here we go. This is perfect. Okay, this is exactly the sound I want. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna click download. It downloads it over here. It's always important to credit where you get your sounds from, even if it's as simple as a click sound. So here Pixabay is making it really easy. Um, not really music, but I would say click sound by uh, this person from Pixabay. I would copy that and then I'd put it into a credits panel page something in my game so people can see where the sounds came from. Now that I have the sound downloaded, let's get it into Unity. We can get this into our project a bunch of different ways. The easiest way is to open up your file explorer, go to downloads, it's right there. I'm going to drag it in to Unity and there it is. I'm going to go over to the button and add a component. I want to add an audio source. There it is. And then I'm going to drag my click sound into the audio clip section here. It's going to play as soon as the game starts, so I'm going to uncheck that. But now when I run the game, we still don't hear the sound. We actually have to write a script to tell the game when to use the sound. So to do that, all I'm going to do is go to the canvas. I'm going to add a component. I'm going to make a main menu script. This is something you'll want to do anyways if you're making a menu. This can be where we control what the button does as well. But for now, we're just going to be telling it to make a sound. So in my main menu script, I'm going to go ahead and make a variable at the top that is public audio source audio. Now I have a variable that will hold our audio source. I can delete all these for now. It is a public function that can be used outside of the script. It has a void return type, so it doesn't return any information, and it's going to be called play button. And the only thing this function is going to do is audio.play. There we go. Let's save this and set it up. Back in Unity, we have our main manuscript, and it needs an audio source. So I'm going to go to the button, check to make sure I have our audio source here, which we do. I'm going to go back to the canvas and drag the button into this slot there. Now on the button, we have to tell it to use the function that we just wrote. So I'm going to go to the button section here, and there's a box down here that says on click. This is what controls what happens when you click the button. I'm going to press the plus button here, and then I'm going to drag the canvas into this box. The canvas has our main menu script on it. I'm going to go to the function menu and find main menu and then find our play button. And now if I run the game, I can click the button as much as I want. These small details add so much to your projects. All you need to do is import the sound, add an audio source to one of your game objects, and then trigger the sound effect somehow, usually using a script. Let's see what you can build in Unity. 